right, really good question here. My boat seat base broke. What material would, would I use to be able to restaple the cushion material to it? Mm, that is a good one. So starboard is probably a good option for that. I, my first go-to material, if I were replacing a seat base, would be starboard. Okay. Yeah, you know, starboard works well. I mean, if the question is about you know, accepting staples, you could staple into starboard really well, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, you know, we do some upholstery substrate, though, out of some less expensive material. Like ProBoard. Like ProBoard, which is an expanded PVC, mm -hmm. you know, that would certainly be less expensive than, than, than Starboard. But Starlight I think as well, right? Starlight kind as of well. Kind middle which, ground. Yeah, Starlight is, uh, you know, it's it's the same material as King Starboard with a blowing agent. It's a little bit lighter, mm -hmm. you know, l less material, less expense, less weight. Um, which are really good options when what you're doing is non-structural. Right. You're, exactly. It's not load bearing. That's what I'm saying. You know, mm -hmm. I'd be, I'd be scared to say, okay, maybe, maybe this was a, um, you know, plywood, you know, substrate and mm -hmm. you go in with expanded PVC. That's a little bit lighter, less rigid. Yeah. You know, maybe now and will break. It will. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe now you have some structural, uh, you know, considerations. Maybe it's not the best, but, um, you know, starboard is a great option if you just want to be sure that, you know, something won't break. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and it totally accepts staples well. Except staples, great. The only caveat to that is you you really want to use a pneumatic staple gun, right? Okay. If you're using just you know your standard spring loaded staple gun, a lot of times those don't have enough power to one punch through the the upholstery that you you have, but two to fully seat into the starboard mm. and Even stainless steel staples, right? Stainless steel staples for sure. Yep. Is that would that be the same with expanded PVC, or would you use a hand stapler for? Expanded no, PVC? you could probably get away with a hand stapler with PVC. But I mean, I would urge whoever's doing this, you know, on their own to test it before they work on the final project. Gotcha. And you so, can dial up the strength and for down sure as well. Make sure you're not shooting it too far through the material, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So would you say your go-to for a seat base, it, without knowing if it's non-structural, just to make sure you're good, would be to replace it in starboard? Well, or uh, plywood, I I'm going to, I'm going to hold you up right there because anytime I hear someone say seat base, it's structural, right. you know, and, and maybe the only case that I could think that you would, it'd be sitting on a fully flat surface, right? You've got a piece of starboard that's sitting on a piece of fiberglass. You know, at that point it's fully supported. doesn't necessarily have to be structural because the fiberglass is what it's getting the structure from. But I'm ha I'm struggling to to think of an application. Yeah, right a lot now of where those, that's the case. Those cushions, like bow cushions, the the cushion has no substrate, right? They usually slide into those traction. The the, the substrate right. is going to be the fiberglass in that case, right? So, what would you recommend in that case? We you send some photos in. We'd mm -hmm. be able to give much better advice. Probably yeah. probably the best bet. But if you're sitting on something and you have a substrate that's in the upholstery, starboard's starboard's my go-to. Is that always the case? You don't think there's any substrate inside the cushions that just mount? to like a leaning post no i think they just use denser foam do they yeah, yeah. I, in yeah. fact i've got a cushion i've got two cushions in my garage right now that have just denser foam at the bottom of them i'm trying to think a lot of times like uh you know on uh the c ray you know the the um yeah, the cushions do have a substrate, but they're they slide and they cover like the the lower access. Area, they cover the over area. an open area, right? Yeah. So the cushions I'm thinking of that don't have a substrate in them are snapping on over a fiberglass deck. Yeah, which you do have structural rigidity concerns with something like that because it's not necessarily supported fully underneath, like you're saying. Right. So, right. Yeah. So photos, photos for sure. That's that's the first place to start. So we can look at it, and it if we can put eyes on it together. And now we're talking apples and apples. It makes a lot more sense, and it's it's a much easier conversation to have. But prior to that, everything's hypothetical. Gotcha. Cool.